Now before I start analysing this video, I'm going to be speeding up a lot of parts here because um, at the end of the run, the run is 38 minutes RTA. So he pauses abuse so much, but the reason why he pauses abuse so much is because he shakes a lot and when he shakes a lot, he kind of just like pauses like for like five minutes <laughs> for every two minutes of the run. So when he's like in the end he just like pauses which is really um dumb so i'm gonna be speeding a, a lot of parts here so if people find that annoying i would kind of like click away from this video because there's a lot of speeding up but i try to make it as least annoying as possible but anyways let's just let's begin with the run so uh four instance wall uh we can see third and fourth instance is good so he's gonna play the third instance. He sees a village. He could get um food here. I don't know if he saw any shipwrecks or anything though. So you might need a tree, just usual. Like usual. One X. Savannah trees are really annoying to um, chop down because of this. Like you waste a lot of try and time trying to get the blocks. He's <laughs> mining the dirt block to get the log. I mean, I would personally mine the like a different tree completely, not the one that you're focusing on. But anyways, uh, he sees a shipwreck here, pretty close, a full shipwreck. I guess he doesn't get food from the from the village in the beginning, but I guess that's fine. Harrowing for better food in the shipwreck is fine, I guess. I mean, I didn't really see any hay bales nearby anyway, so okay. Yeah, that's way more than enough food anyway, so it would be a misplay to get the food in the village, so. Nice one. Alright, we're speeding up this park because he just boats around. There's a monument, so he could do monument strats, but monument strats are not that great. I mean, they are good if you get the correct seed. It's just like, there's a 4% chance for it to like actually be a good run. Because you have to get like 10 obsidian to be like good. Because you can do like home portal and then educated. So... Makes a pickaxe, shovel, bucket, yeah. Organizing his inventory here. Yeah, he definitely has enough food here. He can also turn the carrots into gold carrots later on. Gets flint. Um, pretty good flint luck. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing he's just digging down. Because there wasn't any other magma ravine. Nearby. I mean, it was a warm ocean. So. Okay, digging down here. It was gravel underneath where he was digging down, so he could have got flint later on. But, you know. That's suspicious. If he just high rolled for gravel while digging down. And he was in a deep ocean, so there's no point there. Um, Anyways, he doesn't place a door here. Okay, just doing his regular mag ravine. And this is gonna be a four minute enter. So, okay. Entering four minutes. Pauses, wow, okay. In Sebastian. It is an in Sebastian. So, he spends a little bit too much time kind of earring, but I guess if you got an insta bastion, you would think maybe that's like gravel or something. Maybe like a bunch of like random entities that shouldn't be there, but. Yeah. Looks like it's just gonna dig in the wall, so we're just gonna speed up this part. Two minutes later, he's in the bastion. 
So it's not really a good thing to get an instant bastion in the wall because you still waste a bunch of time. But yeah, he's in the bastion. It is a bridge type, so he can easily craft his golden carrots here. If really wanted to, he could make like a stone pick. Or no, just make a gold pick as well. I believe he still has sticks, so it's not really wasting his wood. Yeah. I think that's what he's going to do here. Forgets that the lava bucket is there. Makes a helmet. Uh, okay, yeah, makes the carrots. At least he doesn't forget the carrots, because I remember in one of his runs, previous PB runs, he completely forgot to... He had like 14 carrots. He was in the bridge type, but he just completely forgot to get golden carrots. So... Golden carrots are really nice because they give a bunch of saturation, so eight is plenty. I mean, like, the saturation substitute to you is also better, but you don't get much of it. It's more compact to have carrots. Uh, he's doing a Dowski route here. A lower Dowski route. I mean, I guess it's a correct play because um, there were pigs down there, so... If he had an iron, uh, sorry, a gold pick, he could have um, mined the netherrack so the piglins could come in easier. And he could have maybe like mined out like where you, the part where like you do dip route. Oh, okay. That was close. The part where you do dip route, you can like mine a staircase, like mine out a staircase for like extra pigs that are there so you can get even more pigs. And he could have also set it to hard mode, but I guess he's not doing it. I mean, he if he set it to hard mode, he would probably die to that other piglin. Okay, this triple's pretty trash. This is a 20 obby run, so he's probably going to get um, the obby from here. Okay, this is the other triple. Throws the gold to distract the piglins. And yeah, he gets his 14 obby. Okay. He's definitely getting 20 obby from this. Especially from the extra gold blocks that he got. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to speed this part up. Because, um, yeah, this is the part where he just, like, gets confused. Because he doesn't know where the fort is. And he spends, like, two minutes pyring. And, like, is waiting for his piglin trades and stuff. So. He sees a gap, and the fortress is right there, which is, like, insane. I mean, what do you expect from a 2RD mob spawner? Well, okay, that fire rose was kind of... Okay, that was a really stupid play. You usually want to throw the fire res below you. Because you can get... You get 7 seconds less, but it's 7 seconds. Like, that's... Like, nothing. And from... From that misplay... He, he, from that misplay... Uh, he, um... Lost one minute of fire res. Although he does have another one, and five minutes of fire res is definitely plenty. I'm also gonna speed this part up because he kind of is just slow here. Not gonna lie, there's nothing really else to say. This is also this is also the part where I just um, we we're in a Java core call this run, so I was kind of backseating him, and then everyone else backseated him. It's just kind of funny. I mean, getting backseated kind of makes you more nervous, which is understandable because he starts um, pause abusing here. If you look at the RTA, it's already at 18 minutes. I just sped that part up there and he paused for four minutes and he's going to pause for another like three minutes or even four minutes, actually. So he pauses for eight total minutes to throw one Eye of Ender. He has particles on, which is annoying for the Eye of Ender particles and your Fire Res particles, so it's a bit hard to see your Eye of Ender particles, but... Um, yeah, he throws his Eye of Ender okay. It broke, which is unfortunate. He did leave on 6, so he might get another rod here. But high rolling for one eye is a very common thing, so... One eyes are way more common than zero eyes, if you didn't know. So, 
You have a better chance of getting a one eye than a zero eye. He gets extra wood. He does still have wood for five beds, but I guess if you're really nervous and you have enough beds, even more, uh, you would probably get more wood. I think he has enough to make, make eight beds, actually. Right, anyways, I believe he did get a rod. If you can see there from the um, sped up footage. Yeah, he's going to make a second portal. And he's not going to ice spy for a really dumb reason. I'm going to speed this part up because he just spends two minutes going to the stronghold. Basically, he mixed up with the cords. And instead of 12, 262, which is the correct cords, he went to neg 12, 262. So he went to the wrong... What is... What would you call positive and negative? Like integer? I don't know what the word is, but basically he mixed up with the cords and he just missed the stronghold. But the stronghold wasn't that far, so he didn't lose that much time. But he's he lost like two minutes from that. He could have blinded in here. And it's a perfect Y level as well. You can see it's at Y42. And he blinded up Y43. So uh doing preemptive here. It's gonna go top right. Uh, there was another spike top left. So you'll probably check that later. But yeah, okay. It's very linear. And it's a 3i, so that extra rod was unnecessary. He's entering the end 1808. So he needs to get a pretty decent perch for it to be sub 20. He's gonna turn his entity distance to 500. And he's also going to pause for like another five minutes. Because at this point, he's starting to like meditate. Like, I'm not even kidding. He just, he just tries to calm himself down because like, I don't know. He's just like that. I mean, I remember when I first started speedrunning, I used to shake a lot, but I never shake that much like i never like paused for like two hours i just shaked and i just dealt with it like i just i did the one cycle while shaking so you know i didn't give a shit <laughs> But yeah, he has seven beds. We could have crafted one more, but seven beds is plenty. Pauses for another minute here. And then at this point, I think it perches. Yeah, turns in at any pearls. I think on top of the fountain. Yeah. But yeah, um, enjoy the one cycle. Sub 20! Let's go! Sub 20! Sub 20! I did it, Orange Knox! Are you proud? Reaction is very funny. Well, he pulls off the four bed. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this reaction thing. Not really reaction, it's a live commentary. But. Yeah, if you want to check out the full run, which I don't know why you would, because it's mostly just pause abuse and just like pausing for like five minutes every like two minutes of the run. It's like really stupid. But yeah, I'll link uh, Candy's channel and um, his 1933 in the description. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, biggest time losses of this run, I would say, is definitely mixing up with the second portal cords. In general, the Bastion was kind of scuffed, and also the Fortress was super close. Like, his Pyre, like, mixed up and stuff. But I, I would say if the Mob Spawner was... If the Mob Spawner was really close to the Bastion, like, if it's, like, 2 RD, then um, I would just find a way out of the Bastion and then look around. Which, clearly, there was a obvious space, like... You'd probably see the fortress while trading, so 
don't know why I didn't, but... Yeah, hope you enjoyed.